What's up everyone, this is the Oklahoma Prepper. Today we're gonna make a deer blind for free. Stick around and check this video out. All right guys, so you guys can see that we've got a couple of pallets stuck together. I've got a couple of two by fours right there scabbing uh, the pallets together. And it's not enough, it's not enough uh, to make it rigid and do what I want it to do. So I'm actually going to make a, use two by fours all the way across there on both sides and reinforce the insides possibly with some other scrap material that I've got. Now, um, I do want to let you know that that bucket of screws, of course was not for, it was not free, but it's stuff that I had access to. So I'm using it, the pallets and the lumber, however, that was just some old junk stuff that somebody is throwing out and uh, asked if I wanted some. And I said, heck yeah, I'll be by with a truck and trailer to get it. And grabbed the truck and trailer and went over and picked up about eight pallets, a bunch of sticks of two by four. But I have a bunch more pallets that I can get if I wanted to. The guy's a real nice guy. Gave me all this stuff for free. Um, so, yeah. So let's check it out, see what we're gonna do. All right guys, so right now, I'm sorry for the bad camera angle, and this is probably gonna be a really shaky shot, because I'm actually sitting on the pallets, the pallet floor that I have made, and so is the tripod. But you can see there's another pallet standing up beside me, and what I'm gonna do is, you saw that I have two, I'm making this big enough to where I can put, uh, put all of my necessary hunting equipment in here that I need, that I take out every day to go hunting. Um, also on the uh, side walls, I'm using just, it's gonna be pallets. For this size, you're gonna want uh, eight pallets, two floor, uh, two uh, front and back walls, and one on each side, uh, side walls. There's a big old bee flying around my head. It's a carpenter. They're like flying teddy bears, they shouldn't even they shouldn't even be able to fly. But anyways, um, like I said, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing for the, the uh, long walls. We'll call them the long walls. Uh, we're gonna stick uh, two pallets together. Bear wants to get into the deer stand with me, or the deer blind with me. Uh, but we're gonna stick two, um, two pallets together and then lift them up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put the side walls and everything together. And I'm not gonna put them, put the walls up until I get out there because the way I'm gonna have this uh, set up is to where the floor is actually gonna act as a trailer. And uh, I'm gonna hitch it up to the four wheeler and then I'm gonna haul it out there and, uh, or the tractor. I'm gonna haul it out there, drop it, and then set it up from there. So, but we're not gonna do all of that today. We're just gonna stick some walls together and kind of figure out how we're gonna have this thing set up but uh yeah this is not going to be a one day build because i'm already out of daylight and i've got a lot of stuff to do this week even though this is the last 10 days before hunting season starts uh before a month from hunting season so i really would like to get everything done and in the woods by october uh, uh september 1st so um yeah, I've got, I'm sorry, I have a month and a half left to go. Yeah. So I want to try to get everything done here in the next week. Um, that way I can have enough time to go out there and do what I need to on my deer, uh, on my deer lease and uh, clean it up and everything and check cameras and put new cameras up and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Hi guys we're back uh, I don't have my mic in so I'm gonna have to try to talk a little bit louder um, it's been like two weeks I ended up hurting my back really bad and then I got really sick uh, so it's been a few weeks since I even put those down the floor together you guys can see right here um, I took the uh, small pieces of two by four that I had just scabbing up right here in the middle in between and I, I replaced it with a long one that goes from full length to the back. Um, and I did the same thing right here. You see the, the screws. Um, I didn't put a two by four on there cause I'm not gonna, 
uh, I'm not going to need that much support because the weight's going to be on the bottom. I'm going to kind of use that as a trailer, kind of uh, put some wheels under it and then hitch it up to my uh, tractor and drag it out there. Um, so I did that on both sides or on the, I guess you could say the front and the back. And then on the sides, you can see there's just one pallet right there. And then a half a pallet right here. And this is my little walkway to come in. And that's really all I did. And I, I put a piece of uh, a little bit of a wire holder thing that I straightened out and made an L. You can see right there. Just to kind of keep it there. And these pallets were actually like this tall. So I actually took my chainsaw and cut them all down level with the rest of them. And see... Um, I've got the chair in there just so I could sit down and see how much height I need because I figured I actually thought I was going to have to cut more down maybe about right here on all the way around but luckily the pallets these pallets the way they are are just right to sit and uh, you just I mean it's perfect for a deer stand and I picked uh, my brother-in-law brought me these gave me these uh, I don't even know what they are like posts pretty much and um, I don't know yet I think they're a little bit too tall uh, because if I leave them like this, then I might bring a, a front wall down across the front there. Um, but that's that's about six foot three to the top right here because uh, I do plan on putting a roof on there because last year I got a lot of rain. I got uh, we got a lot of rain last year and I got rained on quite a bit. So uh, I am going to put a roof. I think I'm going to end up cutting it down to about maybe i don't know just above my head uh from sitting position i could just kind of crawl in there if you will and then uh uh sit down and put my stuff up but these are just pallets uh none of this not a not a single thing here cost me any money to buy specifically for this job uh, everything I have, uh, everything that I use, the drill, the chainsaw. I used my chainsaw because I, my, I don't know where my skill saw is at. So I used my chainsaw for this. Um, and, uh, you know, it didn't cost me anything for any of this. Uh, the two by fours, these are brand new, but I did not buy them. I, they were given to me. Um, and, uh, those are going to be my cross members for the roof. I am going to put a little tin roof up because, uh, like I said, last year I got rained on quite a bit and I don't want to have to deal with that next this year. But uh, while I'm over here, I'll show you guys my wood pile. Um, I've got a lot of this uh, scraps from the smart panel. Uh, I'm going to use that as a flooring. In fact, I'll go ahead and stick a couple of pieces in there to kind of show you guys what it's going to look like. Roughly what it's going to look like. Uh, I've got that big piece that I was actually planning on using. Um, this is two smaller pieces that I found. Um, but that's basically what it's going to look like. It's going to be a little bit loud, so I'm going to have to find some kind of, uh, you know, something to put down. Maybe uh, an old roll of old scrap junk carpet that I could find uh, to kind of put down either uh, under the, uh, under the uh, smart panel between that and the pallets or just on top of the pallets or on top of everything so I can just walk directly on carpet. The only thing with that is, you know, carpet outside it attracts and keeps a lot of bugs and I don't want to be out there and fleas be jumping on me because last last fall or like yeah, last fall, last winter or whatever, it didn't really get cold until late in hunting season. So uh you know there was really still an issue with mosquitoes and bugs and all kinds of stuff like that out there. Um, plus I'm, I do plan on leaving it out there so the raccoons will get in there and they'll try to chew it up and it'll just make a mess. So I'm just probably just going to do board and figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, maybe try to find a piece of rubber that'll be big enough to go on there. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, it's my, uh, homemade deer blind progress at the moment. Um, it's kind of a cooler day. We've had a lot of cloud coverage. A little bit of chances of rain and stuff, but uh, nothing really to uh, to uh, worry about. But uh, yeah, this is uh, my deer blind. This is how it's coming along a little bit. Um, 
but uh, it's not bad for free. Uh, so I've got the uh, kind of a roof frame, I don't know, I guess you could say put up. Got some uh, little roof uh, posts put up. And uh, this is just kind of a, not, it's not finished, but this is kind of what it's look, gonna look like when it's done. It's pretty much exactly what it's gonna look like when it's done, except for it's gonna have, put some sheet metal up there and uh, make a little roof. But um, yeah, um, pallets all the way around. I don't have this um, this cloth stuff stuck up here right now. It's just hanging on a screw that I've got put in there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hi guys, so I wanted to uh, kind of uh, touch base with you guys and let you guys know why I haven't been putting out a video, any videos here lately. And uh, I'm going to try to work my hardest to get more videos put out. Um, and um, so basically against my doctor's orders and against, you know, my health, uh, I did get a job. Um, I, I got tired of sitting around, you know, this summer's been really hot and it's just, I've been really bored. Um, and uh, I, I ended up having to get, uh, you know, I ended up getting a job. Uh, I can't disclose any further what I do and uh, who I work for due to the agency policies. Uh, however, um, just know that I'm going to try to do whatever I can. Uh, second of all, I work nights. So anybody that works nights or has worked nights knows that it is very difficult to get things done when there's sun, sunlight out. Um, when you're on your days off, uh, you have to try to keep your night shift schedule because um, it's really hard to transition, especially when you end up having to go to trainings during the day. You know, they send you to training and don't give you any transition days to go back to nights that's really difficult so um, that being said um, I, I wanted to uh, let you guys know that I have not just abandoned YouTube I'm I've got I've been trying to put together some videos for a few weeks and um, I'm getting a little bit here and there uh, as I go so um, I hope you guys uh, can understand what's been going on so uh, that being said I'm gonna get get into this video uh, or get back into this video and um, this video has been quite a few weeks in the making I do apologize it's just like I said I work nights now and um, you know it's very rare that I get any time to do anything during the day um, because I work such, I actually work long hours, but I do get, uh, longer days off instead of just, you know, people having, uh, two days off, I, I get three days off. Um, but my hours during the week, my work week are longer. Um, so for example, uh, it is October the 8th and, uh, this is the first today actually I got to go hunting for a few hours and it's the first time since it's the first time I've been able to go hunting it took me about a month to get my deer blind built and about two weeks to get it set up out in the woods and today's the first day I got to go hunting for a couple hours so um, but yeah, there's the update and let you guys know. And I do apologize. I'm not going to be able to do any. Uh, I was hoping to do some camping videos this winter. I was hoping to last winter. But things just don't work out the way you plan. Um, how, uh, so that being said, um, I am going to try to get some videos put out. Um, I am going to be doing some more product reviews. And I am going to be doing updates on the reviews on my Harbor Freight stuff. Like... The uh, home surveillance system, uh, the uh, outdoor solar lights. I think I did an update on that. I don't remember. But I'm, I've got to go back into my library and see what needs to be done. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, I haven't even had a chance to put in the wood stove yet. And it's, I, I've got to, there's a lot of things i got to do. 
But anyways, uh, let's get back to this video and uh, we will talk a little bit more about all that stuff later on. Thanks for watching here uh, and uh, enjoy the rest of this. As you can see, I've got my deer blind back here and I used my tractor, my little lawnmower, to pull it back where I want it. You can see right back there is my deer feeder. And I'm just, I got a lot of woods. I got a lot of woods around me. Um, this is also going to be an update video. So uh, stick around for that. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the deer stand. Uh, now that I've got it completely finished. Uh, well, I still got one, maybe more thing to do. And then uh, it'll be finished. All right, so let's turn around and we'll see. All right, guys, so you guys remember, I didn't have the camo up. I think I did for just a quick shot. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. This is actually, I think when I made that video, it was early September, maybe. I don't know. But uh, anyways, so I got my little chair in there. I got some more deer blind. Ignore that beverage bottle. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so pallets all the way around, and I left a little, I cut off one of these uh, parts right here to uh, shorten one of these, I think it's this one, this pallet. And I used that excess that I cut off as a shelf right there. Um, but, yeah, this is it completed. This is the new netting. I bought some extra netting. Um, thinking it was going to be enough, but then I decided I was going to go around the top with it as well. Uh, just to kind of leave me an open area about this tall to shoot through. Bear decides to follow me out here, so yeah. But, uh, okay. Let's take a look at the casters. I went to Harbor Freight and bought some little 8-inch casters, and that's all those things are. You can see I made a, put a 2x4 across there to make as an axle. And that's what I used for that. And uh, I'll show you my homemade draw bar. And it's just a piece of 2x4. It goes to the entire length of the uh, deer blind. Which is about two pallets. And I've got it drilled up in several different places. All up and down that 2x4. And I just took a drill bit. And drilled out this for uh, a hitch. And I put one of these... Uh, these gardening nails, uh, we use them to anchor 2x4s down to dirt when we're doing skirting and houses, solitaire homes. But this is it. This is my uh, hitch pin, uh, and there's my trailer hitch. And I just hooked it up to my little lawnmower, and it pulls it. Um, I did have some problems with it. The casters, it is... Um, they come with lag bolt like oversized bolt holes because of course it's what they need and all i had was um some uh deck screws and uh the deck screws is what i used because i had them and i wasn't i didn't plan on buying anything too much other than the casters and the camo netting that's all i bought out of this um so yeah um this thing was hard to get out here it's uh now october 3rd thursday october 3rd um two days in deer season i haven't had to i haven't had a chance to spend a single day out here but um you know that being said let's go look around i want to look at my feed real quick i haven't got a chance to look at it yet there is my mineral uh lick site and you can see there are deer tracks in there out there so they are hitting it they are scraping it and they are hitting it the corn um i'm actually surprised there's still corn in this thing there's still a lot of corn in this thing and i'm very surprised um this is just all this is is like i don't know six inch five inch i don't know pvc with a 90 instead of gluing everything i just ran a screw down in there it's opened at the top nothing fancy all right, guys, I almost left without finishing the video. Uh, I put that burlap up there, and you can see I've got a little shooting hole to shoot through. Yes, I know you can see all the way through it. That could be bad. But, um, 
you know, it is what it is. I'll, I'll work on it later. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, before I finished it, uh, before I fin uh, recorded my last video, I put the roof on, or after I recorded my last video, I put the roof on, and you see right there, it's just old metal roof that I had laying around, and I am going to come back out here and put some uh, wood blocks under the back down here. That way I can uh, more stabilize it a lot better. Um, I do want to take the casters out. You see it right there. I do need to put, no, it just got burlap. You can't tell, but it's got burlap on the other side. But I only have one piece on it, so it's you can see all the way through, see? But um, uh, you see how I've got them stacked up right here. I want to do the same thing on the other side to stabilize it. And I do want to take the casters out and put blocks under it. Uh, actually, this thing was actually made to sit flat on the ground without, you know, being lifted up or anything. But I think I am going to kind of lift it up a little bit just to keep, uh, just keep myself up off the ground a little bit. Uh, uh, I got things to do, so I'm going to head back out. I almost forgot. I moved the lawnmower out there, so I almost forgot to uh, finish this video out. This is my old deer stand area. All I had was, uh, one of those, uh, in fact, it was the uh, front uh, camo netting. I had it, all I did was had it draped around. I had it kind of stuck up on there and then out to this side and then over. And it was, I made like a V out of it. And that's just where I sat last year. So, uh, so yeah, this is an upgrade, definite upgrade. I got rained on a lot last year. So this is most of the re mostly the reason for the upgrade. All right, guys, I almost left without finishing the video. Uh, I put that burlap up there, and you can see I've got a little shooting hole to shoot through. Yes, I know you can see all the way through it. That could be bad, but, um, you know, it is what it is. I'll, I'll work on it later. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, before I finished it, uh, before I fin uh, recorded my last video, I put the roof on. Or after I recorded my last video, I put the roof on, and you see right there, it's just old metal roof that I had laying around, and I am going to come back out here and put some uh, wood blocks under the back down here. That way I can uh, more stabilize it a lot better. Um, I do want to take the casters out. You see it right there. I do need to put, no, it just got burlap. You can't tell, but it's got burlap on the other side. But I only have one piece on it, so it's you can see all the way through. See, but um, uh, you see how I've got them stacked up right here. I want to do the same thing on the other side to stabilize it. And I do want to take the casters out and put blocks under it. Uh, actually, this thing was actually made to sit flat on the ground without you know being lifted up or anything. But I think I am gonna kind of lift it up a little bit just to keep. Uh, just keep myself up off the ground a little bit. Uh, uh, I got things to do, so I'm gonna head back out. I almost forgot, I moved the lawnmower out there, so I almost forgot to uh, finish this video out. This is my old deer stand area. All I had was uh, one of those, uh, in fact, it was the uh, front uh, camo netting. I had it, all I did was had it draped around I had it kind of stuck up on there and then out to this side and then over and it was I made like a V out of it and that's just where I sat last year. So uh so yeah, this is an upgrade, definite upgrade. I got rained on a lot last year, so this is most of the re mostly the reason for the upgrade.